Hello, everyone. Welcome to Team Talk. I'm your co-host, Mark Iorio, along with uh, my friend over here, Milton Corsi. Good morning, my friend. What's going on? Mark's always a pleasure. Yes, always sir. a pleasure. Things are going well. So today we have uh, Mary Ann Boccolini with us. Uh, Mary Ann is the President and Chief Executive Officer at Samaritan in... Mount Laurel. Mount Laurel. Mm -hmm. There's a number of locations, by the way, right? Well, we have two inpatient centers, and we serve five counties, but our main office is in Mount, in Mount Laurel. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome. Thank Great you. Great to have you on Great the show. Great to be here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, Marianne, tell us a little bit about the organization. Tell us about Samaritan. Uh, Milton and I have had the pleasure of, uh, of, of having uh, loved ones there um, yes. in, in the hospice care and uh, just the most amazing, amazing people that we've ever met, oh. uh, ever. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, yeah. Mark. Uh, well, Samaritan was started in 1980, uh, really by pioneers, if you will, a, a physician and uh, some community volunteers uh, to meet the needs in this community uh, for those that have serious illness and grief and yeah. to be able to stay in their own homes, be surrounded by their loved ones. That was uh, the original impetus. Um, it uh, again was more volunteer based there was no reimbursement hospice at, at that time was a, a relatively new concept mm. and there were only about 100 hospices in the country wow, at that wow. time yes and um and then in 1980 uh we opened the doors but then um we were one of 26 hospices to participate in a demonstration project from Medicare to prove this concept and actually um, Senator Dole uh, of course who just passed away he was one of the um, proponents of the Medicare hospice benefit and it passed uh, pretty quickly like within six months and then you know uh, there was reimbursement it was uh, you know a bona fide service and um, we grew from there so now uh, we wanted to serve more earlier in the continu their health continuum mm -hmm. uh, for those with serious illness. So we actually have a primary care practice that visits in the home. Wow. Okay. And so for those that need family practice but can't get out to, mm -hmm. to an office. And also uh, a palliative medicine practice, which we started in 2009. And that is a, is a board certified medical specialty that really um, works with uh, 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 the patient and family to develop and the healthcare their healthcare team to uh, develop a care plan that eases the stress of symptoms, pain, um, and uh, and and it coincides with a curative treatment. Mm. So you know it's. It's really um, about coming up with a care plan and, and managing symptoms while they are receiving aggressive treatments. Wow, well, wonderful. Yeah, it really is. It really is. You know, as Mark mentioned, um, Marianne, we both have had the, uh, the pleasure of working with you guys. And, and yes. uh, as Mark and I were sharing our experiences, you know, they were as positive as they can be for that end of life kind of circumstance. Thank you. But, um, you know, so it's. It would seem that you know, people who work in your field, like that's not for everyone. That's a unique calling. Right. Like, how do you guys go about identifying people who are a good fit for an organization such as Samaritan? Right, right. Well, um, actually, since it is a calling, um, they find us. I'll just say that. Yeah. Uh, but how they find us is uh, it's really the culture. I believe uh, we. Uh, have a mission, of course, like any organization, and, and the mission is really to provide extraordinary compassion and professional expertise to support people and their families as they're going through this, um, you know, and, and really to enhance their, their life. But our philosophy of care, which is really like all of us, if we have a personal philosophy, it's mm -hmm based on our belief systems. And, and so we believe in the unity and connectedness of life, first of all. We also um, have a reverence for the sacredness of life. So we don't hasten death, but we don't prolong it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's allowing things to take its normal course. Um, and a, a real um, 
a commitment to the ethic of human service. So when you, when that becomes off the page, like living it within your organ, the organization, then um, the staff feels that. Um, and then, uh, you know, I think too that they appreciate the fact that they, um, if they're drawn to that, they, they do appreciate the fact that they can use their authentic gifts there. Mm. There's a huge technical component, as you can imagine, with medical care. Sure. Mm -hmm. However, um, <clears throat> there is, uh, and, and it can be pretty intense. Uh, some people think it's just like hand holding, but it's, it, but it is that as well. So people can bring their, uh, their heart and they have time, not that they're not extremely busy, but they have time when they're one-to-one -one with the family and the patient in their own homes mm -hmm. um, to be able to spend with them and, and uh, really make an impact, even if the length of stay is short. Um, uh, you know, some people are on the our service hospice now, I'm saying. Some mm -hmm. people are on for, um, it could be a year, uh, um, and some are about 35% um, pass away within seven days. So there's that <clears throat> range there when people call us um, as to how long we can be of service to them. But... Um, but those relationships are established from the beginning, and we're in there with them, and uh, we do all we can to help them be comfortable. In, in the uh, at the end, especially in the hospice uh, yes. setting, Marianne, mm -hmm. um, you're dealing with a whole variety of people, right? Yes. You're yes. you're dealing with people who are. Uh, compassionate about what's going on, people who are sort of angry about what's going on. Yes. How do you deal or how does staff deal with those levels of, uh, of people when they, when they come to mm -hmm. uh, Samaritan? Mm -hmm. Well, Mark, this is a cliche, <clears throat> uh, but we meet people where they are. Mm. I mean, that, that's, um, we're not pushing or pulling people. Um, we're supporting them. But, you know, let's use an example. Within the same family, you ha could have someone that, understands that mom is is um, very ill and doesn't have long to live and mm -hmm. so is uh, trying to support her being as comfortable as possible. You might have, you know, a sibling then <clears throat> who feels that that is giving up and mom should be trying harder and, uh, you know, so there's a, a, a push and pull about it. So um, it's then really about the patient's wishes. Mm. Uh, it, it, and, and then helping and, we, I mean, each patient and family is, has a, a, a team of people mm -hmm. that um, is the, the, as they're assigned to, basically. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, so it's the physician, uh, the nurse, social worker, mm -hmm. spiritual support counselor. Okay. Some call them chaplains, but it's non sectarian it's not religious it's about the the spirit mm -hmm. um and uh and then home health aides okay. and uh volunteers if they need one and a and a, 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 a grief counselor okay so that team that core team of physician nurse social worker spiritual support and home health aid that's the core team they um visit frequently and certainly the home health aid as often as needed okay. um, and so you know they're working they're developing relationships they're listening first of all mm. um, they're not trying to convince anyone that mom should be doing this it's really about helping the family get on the same page if you will for mom okay mm. it, it's you know if these were mom's wishes right you know and mom doesn't want to be going back to the hospital or getting more aggressive treatment yeah. and doing those things mom this is what mom wants then it's helping that sibling who is struggling with that mm -hmm. um, to help mom feel comfortable about the decision that she has yeah. made 
That makes sense. Yeah. It's a nice it's a nice team of, of people. It's a very um, sort of broad based yes. uh, eclectic group of people. Absolutely, that, right? because it is the uh, it's the physical, then the personal, like what we were just talking about, that that specific personal needs, emotional and spiritual aspects. I mean, yeah. you know, the the spiritual aspect is really um, have I lived a good life? Uh, have I loved did, do people love me? Did I do the best I could in any given situation? Um, you know, it, it's, it's that peace mm -hmm. within their, their spirit. Sometimes that is tied to their religion. Um, you know, did I uh, reach out enough, do community service, whatever, you know, what the, the, the you know, belief system within a doctrine is. Um, but it's it it then it all leads to you know that that spirit. Yeah. So um, it's it's all of that, and the team, although they're communicating all the time, they they actually meet with the physician every two weeks, and every every patient family is discussed from all those aspects. Wonderful. Yeah, I, I tell you that's amazing. It is, and it's really been kind of eye-opening. I didn't realize all the different services that that Samaritan offered. Yes, and I, kind of a follow-up question to that, right? Because sure. you guys, let me let me see if I let me see if I miss anything, right? Hospice, primary care, palliative care, yes, uh, spiritual um, kind of support, uh, you know, social. You know, there, there, there's all these things, mm -hmm. and you know, so I, I can only imagine what a what a challenge it is mm. to lead an organization that with all those different offerings you know and you cover how many counties was it again now five counties. five counties wow mm -hmm. that's, that's amazing you, could you share with the audience a little bit about like your background what led you sure. to where you are today yes uh well <clears throat> from a professional perspective i am a nurse okay. <laughs> so um and i worked uh, uh several years in oncology mainly cardiology and some other specialties. Um, <clears throat> and then I uh, managed an oncology unit uh, for 11 years in one of the hospitals okay. um, and uh, before coming to Samaritan. So professionally, you know, that has been my trajectory. Oh, I also worked uh, uh, running a clinic giving chemotherapy and things like that. So, so you know, outpatient, inpatient. Mm -hmm. um, from a personal uh, perspective, um, uh, really, it, it uh, I, I think, began with um, my mom. Uh, she passed away when I was 15, so she was uh, started getting ill when I was 13. And um, so that obviously had an impact. And there was no hospice, you know, back then. So neighbors helped. Um, you know, uh, I was the youngest, and my 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 brothers were, you know, had were living away. One was in Vietnam, and et cetera. So, um, my dad uh, did a great jo uh, job, and um, so that uh, you know, I saw that. Gosh, uh, if it weren't for the neighbors and and relatives, you know, how would we have managed sure, that? Sure. You know. Yeah. Um, so that that was that was part of it, and and but it it wasn't totally that. I, I I think because of that, I really did gain an appreciation for each day. Yeah. As cliche as that sounds, that to me, um, and it, it wasn't fear based. Like oh, something could happen today. It was more, well, I'm blessed to be here today. Sure. And and my I'm blessed that my children are here, and then I'm here for my children and my yeah. husband. You know those things yeah. that my mom didn't have the opportunity to to experience. To enjoy. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Marianne, what a what a great background and uh, what a great organization. Thank you. We'll talk after the break about okay. your awesome staff. Thank you. Yes. Right, because yeah. we know how great they are. But Thank we're going to have to take a quick sure. commercial break, and when we come back, we'll talk to Marianne Boccolini. Uh, Baccalini, uh, more about uh, Samaritan, the staff, uh, her passion for doing what she does, and a whole host of other questions. Don't go away.
Give more than a gift. Etsy. It was the holiday season and joy filled the town, except for Scrooge, with his perma frown. <laughs> the gift of a Peloton bike did touch his soul. Riding fast, flowing proud, getting hella swole. You can do it. I'm doing was Scrooge a new man? Oh, without doubt. When your workout's a joy, it's a joy to work out. was a day full of wonder for the Scratch-Offs division who traveled across Jersey on a holiday mission to witness firsthand the joy of the players giving holiday Scratch-Offs to loved ones and neighbors. It was true holiday cheer they did attach to the greatest gifts of all, those unwrapped with a scratch. Their mission accomplished, they dashed off with glee to spread more Scratch-Off joy from the New Jersey Lottery. Holiday dreams come true at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. Ho, ho, ho. Mm -mm. It's Santa. We got a problem. Welcome back to Team Talk. I'm your co-host, Mark Iorio, with Milton Corsi. We're talking to Marianne Boccolini. Marianne is the uh, President and Chief Executive Officer at Samaritan. And uh, great conversation. I, I just, uh, when I think of how we were treated when a family member was there uh, in the Voorhees location, uh, it just, it's a tough time, mm -hmm. of course, because, you know, you're at the end of life. Uh, in this case, um, and, but everyone was just so warm, just so incredibly wonderful to us as a family. And uh, you know, I know you had the same experience. Yeah, very, very, very similar experience. And you know, that was going to be one of my questions. You know, it's like you guys are in the healthcare field, and a lot of times, as consultants, we'll say that people are in the business of something. Mm -hmm. Like you're in the business of, yes. of of helping people through the end of life. But to Mark's point, one of one of the things that really struck me, because I think that my father was in, 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 in your guys' care for about 90 days. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned to you before we came on the air today, he could be a bit of a can cantankerous <laughs> sort. Uh, but one of the things that was really amazing to me was the relationship you know, that your staff built with him mm -hmm. in those 90 days. I saw him, I saw it go from, who are these people and what are they doing in my house? Mm -hmm. to he looked forward to seeing them oh. and they became kind of part of the family yeah. and I think it's it's a testament to um, to your leadership and the culture at, at some at uh, Samaritan that people don't lose sight of that if is there a couple of things you could share with our audience about maybe what are some of the things that you do to ensure that that never goes away and people although it's a business Oh, yeah. You don't lose mm -hmm. touch with the human side of it. Sure, mm. sure. Well, we say no money, no mission. I mean, you know, you, you have to have money to, to uh, pay people and mm -hmm. invest in, yeah. in, in what we do. But, um, but we exist because we are there to support those with serious illness. Mm. Uh, and, and so, um, uh, you know, how we maintain that, is that what you're yeah, asking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 
again, I'll go back to the philosophy and our mission. I mean, that's what we're there to do. And uh, although we're not thinking about the words in that philosophy every day because it is integrated, that when we make decisions, um, you know, it's budget time, right? So when we make, formulate our next budget, when we, um, uh, you know, in, in any, uh, then getting down to the patient and family level, any of those decisions, it's really all about how can we best support our patients and their families and caregivers? How can we best do that? Also, extending that care to uh, the professional, uh, to our community at large. I mean, um, we uh, interact with a lot of people in the community sure. um, and, you know, try to support, you know, what, what they're doing as well. So it, it really comes from, we are of service. And um, it's, I'm not sure if that answered your question or what you. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. You, you know, Marianne, you look at um, at you and your background as a nurse, and and uh, what you did in oncology and and administering chemotherapy. Where does the passion for doing what you do, right? Mm -hmm. When you when you get up in the morning, what, where's that passion coming from for? You know, being the CEO and, uh, mm -hmm. and, and been president of Samaritan. Right. What do you love what you do? I do love what I do. Um, and I, I'll just start by saying that everybody has their gifts. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Everybody. Or we wouldn't be here on earth, right? We're to, to so uh, the challenge is to discover what they are and then sure. use them, right? Yeah. So for me, um, I... Uh, uh, I am fueled by by making a difference in making people's lives better, uh, which can be done in different professions, in mm -hmm. any profession. Um, but relieving as much as possible, relieving suffering. Um, in my particular role, uh, that that's the nurse part. Mm -hmm. But in my particular role, uh, I really have a, just such a passion for the great people that come to Samaritan, for them to really recognize what's authentic within them. Like, that, I think many people take themselves for granted. Oh, I can, I can do this, or yes, I'm a, I'm a good home health aide. I, I care for people, mm -hmm. I, I like that. Mm -hmm. But it's, no, this is, this is gifts that you have, and 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 to bring them forth, and and for them to really value them, so that then they flourish. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, I mean, uh, we are a team at Samaritan. Mm. Um, that's the nature of the hospice benefit. Sure. When you get mm -hmm. the hospice benefit, you get the whole team, plus you get <clears throat> everything included. By the way, all the medicines, all the the equipment everything delivered to the home, like all of that. So it, there, it's a concept of team. Sure. And so that's how we operate at Samaritan. Um, yes, uh, in the business world, there's a hierarchy of CEO, uh, manager, sure. you know, sure. staff. But it's, it's not, a, no one truly is more, honestly, more important than the other. It, everybody has to do their roles or it doesn't work. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's, mm -hmm. it's so true. Yeah. Would you do anything differently? If you, if you look back on your career, would you change anything that, uh, you, you know, you look back on and, mm -hmm. and say, I would have mm -hmm. done this a little differently or not? No. Good. Good. I love that. Yeah. 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 I, 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 you know, not that there weren't. Uh, you know, downfalls and, sure, oh, course. gee, uh, I guess I, we missed that mark. Or, but, y y you know, uh, uh, things, 
work out the way they're supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, if your intention is is uh, correct. Absolutely. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Good stuff. I couldn't agree more. I think it's 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 vitally important that you know, we oftentimes learn more from our failures than we do from our successes mm -hmm. or from those yes. moments that yeah, challenge us. Yes. That we do from those moments when yes, because everybody we, do. we always want to think about the successes, mm -hmm. but it's oftentimes those challenges that kind of shape us. Absolutely. And kind of help us become you have the to person. Work that we, a little harder to. Absolutely, get to you that find out who step. you really are, mm -hmm. right? When, when, yeah, when, you're not kidding. When you're in those moments. Yes. But you know, you thank you for, so much for sharing so much with us. This has been a fantastic conversation so far. Thank and you. Kind of uh, one of the things you, you talked about your family experience and, and how it, unfortunately your mother passed away when you were still you know quite a young girl mm -hmm. and and you're the youngest of four siblings, yes. the only girl. <laughs> um, all that kind of good stuff. Is there anybody? Because I think uh, you know a lot of times there's a moment mm -hmm. in life or there's a person in life that kind of, how can I put it, that is kind of, that helps catapult us mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or that or that gives us that inspiration to kind of do what we do. Is mm -hmm. there, is, was there a moment, is there a person that, that, that kind of has really been that center of energy for you? Um, I've thought about this before or actually if there were, it, it wouldn't take a lot of thought, it would be that person, but in thinking about that uh, concept. It's so many people. I, I just feel blessed uh, because, again, going back to everybody has their gifts, it's what you learn from this person and what, you know, I mean, True. from teachers, mm -hmm. I've had my own family members. I mean, you know, I have wonderful brothers and, and my dad was just amazing. Mm. So, you know, I, and, and my colleagues that I work with, um, uh, they, uh, I'm, I'm really in awe of what they do every day, how, how they do it. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, I, honestly, it's, um, and then it, it's, it's others just uh, that I've never met, you know, people like Oprah, Deepak Chopra, um, you know, uh, Wayne Dyer and pe people that have a philosophy that is holistic and, you know, more, more broad, but yet specific to the spirituality of people and, and that appreciation. So all of it, um, it, it, you know, I just feel blessed that uh, people have come into my life, uh, whether it's on TV mm -hmm. <laughs> or a uh, podcast or whether it's, you know, uh, certainly in person that um, influence me all the time. Well, you certainly are running an, an amazing organization, Marianne. We are just so happy that you were here to join us on RVN Television. Uh, I thank you so much. You're welcome. You've touched uh, Milton and, and my life, I know, in ways that we, we can't express, uh, but we appreciate it very, very much. Well, it, it, um, it, it is show. our privilege. Yeah, absolutely. Talk about team, right? When you yeah. look at team talk, yeah. Oh, there is, we there, go. <laughs> is there a better team than, you know, the people that you assemble at a place like Samaritan? Yeah, because you're so right, Mark. They, they, they supported, you know, my family when we were going through our, through that end of life journey yeah. uh, in every meaningful way you could imagine. Yeah. yeah. And it, it, it really, like I, I, I share with Marianne in the, in the lobby before the show started that, you know, um, probably the thing I was most grateful for is that you, you allowed my father to have his last wish mm. that he could, you know, spend his last moments in his home and right. not sure. in a hospital. Yeah. And, and that's something that we'll be forever grateful about. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, but if, if they can't be in their own home, we do have two inpatient centers that oh. um, give 24 seven intense care. It's really, People don't live there. It's really for intense symptom yeah. management. Mm -hmm. um, so there is criteria from a regulatory perspective to, to go there. But um, that is, if you walked in, which I would love you to visit, mm -hmm. um, if you walked in, it's, you would just feel peace. But believe me, there's a lot of intense work that, it's like the intensive care of hospice, but um, uh, so, even though they can't it be in their own home at the very end, mm -hmm. um, they are still surrounded by 
yeah. loved ones. Yeah, that's it's where wonderful. my father-in-law was at the was Voorhees he? location. Yes. It was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Marianne, if you would just uh, look into that camera right there and yes. tell us how to get in touch with... Uh, uh, this one over here. Oh. Yep, you and Samaritan, that'd be great. <laughs> yes, of course. Well, uh, you can look on our website, which is www.samaritannj.org, um, or you could give us a call anytime, day, night, 24-7 at 856-596-1600. Uh, and we are also on uh, Facebook um, and Instagram. So Great. Yeah. Thanks, Marianne. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Thank you very Thank much. You so much. Wonderful show. It really was. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please uh, look up Samaritan uh, Hospice. Uh, they're, they're all over uh, South Jersey, five counties. Uh, wonderful program with Mary Ann Boccolini. Thanks very much for joining us on Team Talk. We'll see you next time. Have a good week. Take care, everyone.